Students are coming to the classroom, whether it's on Zoom or in person with enthusiasm, with care, and with great respect for the work that we're each putting in and creating a really nice academic experience. This semester, I'm taking a number of different courses at Duke Law. Bankruptcy and uh, legal writing. Business associations with Professor Cox. Business association class and energy law class. Civil procedure, which I'm not sure if, if, if that's a favorite for most people, but so far that's been my favorite. One more class that I'm taking is constitutional law. We simply refer to it as con law. Honestly, I enjoy them all so far. What I find the most exciting, actually, is negotiation class. It's something that I haven't touched on before at all. And it's very different to the courses that I've had in Germany because it's very hands-on. We have live negotiations every class. Um, we have to prepare for those and then we're sent out to negotiate with different people and starting with single negotiations but also with group negotiations later. One of my favorite classes actually is the startup law class. It basically teaches you how to advise a startup company, a company that has just started for example, you will help them with the choice of entity, what kind of entity they want to have. Like, is it going to be LLP, LLC? At this semester, I'm trying to expand my horizon to business and corporate law. Uh, so I'm enrolling myself to this business association class. And I must say that I'm really enjoying that class because Professor Elizabeth de Fontenay is very helpful and she's really good at ex explaining every subject. I've also encountered faculty and staff that are just always there for our needs and are really committed in making this year a uh, healthy, safe, and also exciting and interesting year for all of us. I've been able to engage in faculty and students outside and inside classroom, online and in person. I had a virtual lunch with Professor Cox uh, the other day. He asked questions uh, about me, about my personal life, and I got to know him. and. Uh, that was really, really uh, uh, enjoyable. Professor Metzloff actually he, um, teaches us distinctive aspects of U.S. law, where he promised us um, to give us a campus tour on Friday, so we're all very much uh, looking forward to that. The new normal means everybody's wearing masks. Every time you want to enter a building, you have to swipe your due card to enter so that they can track or trace everybody who's been inside that building. Duke University's introduced something called a Duke Compact, which is an entire system that they have in place in terms of just dealing with the pandemic um, and all the protocols that come along with that. There are sanitizers everywhere. Even the bathroom doors have these hinges at the bottom that you can just sort of pull open with your foot and don't have to touch. So that's helpful. Just given the COVID situation in the United States, I had no idea what was expecting me and I thought it might be a ghost campus that I'm coming to. Um, but when I arrived here, I, I saw that really it, it's not a ghost campus at all. When I got here, I was very relieved because I do think that Durham is doing a very good job. And, and even throughout the city, everyone's wearing masks. And then in a grocery store or in, in closed environments, everyone's adhering to the mask order and everyone's taking care of that and practicing social distancing. Everybody is is pretty careful. Everybody wears masks. If you want to go out to eat at a restaurant, there's only outdoor dining unless you choose to sit inside. You have to keep masks on until you start eating and then all the tables are um, six feet apart, which is, I think, the situation in most, most of the cities or even most of the countries. Since I've come here, I've really encountered a city and especially a university that's just dedicated to keeping all of us safe. And I love how Duke trying to control and trying to comply with the hot protocol so i felt quite safe to come in january the approach that duke law is taking and specifically this llm program is taking has been very successful we're using the different resources we have different technologies different spaces and different educational tools to make and create the best experience possible